Hello, and uh, this is the, uh, I guess, long-awaited part five. I'm um, sorry it has taken this long. Um, I recorded and uploaded part five yesterday, but it was too long, and I couldn't keep it, so I just found that out about half an hour ago. So here it is. Um, a lot to cover, and I'm going to try and condense it more than I did last time. So, short inversion. Uh, we have two sprites. One of a basically just a building which you get resources from, uh, and then something extra. Or make sure you put in an entrance. But we're gonna make it look like the, it comes out of the direction of the entrance. And then um, uh, you need a second sprite without anything there, like this. So if you have like what I did, a uh, railroad entrance type of thing take that away. You want just the building which the user will collide with and that'll be that. Um Okay. So we need a building underscore few uh first we're gonna edit making. Making when it's created, we add a little bit of code, uh alarm bracket zero equals one hundred and then at alarm zero we just have a destroy itself, instance underscore destroy. And the reason why we're doing this is we no longer have to keep track of how long making is running for um, the in the building, which clears up a good amount of code. So if you want to take out building main, you can, but we don't have to put it into putting don't have to put it into building underscore fuel, which is what we're making now. So first, uh, kind of more important one, alarm zero event. Uh, we put in some code and it says global dot fuel equals global dot fuel plus one so we're adding a hundred fuel now the zero alarm zero is when we're the ship comes back from the building uh... you're basically good but you have the extra fuel or whatever you wanna use for a resource um, and we have instance underscore create and uh... you put the x and y coordinates where you want to create it and the object which is ship worker so in parentheses it would be uh, self dot x comma self dot y plus thirty two in my case comma ship underscore worker. I'm going to explain this because you want to put the ship where it won't collide with the building, and it'll look like it's coming out of the building. So for me, that's where it was. Um, you need to mess around a little bit and find where. Uh, the best spot is to put your uh, have your vehicle here up here and lastly working equals zero uh, and I'll explain working when we go into ship worker uh, if working equals zero so if we're not working then we can start working and we say alarm zero equals 100 alarm bracket zero and bracket equals 100 um, working equals one so now we are working, so if another ship comes along, it doesn't start this again. And instance underscore create, then in parentheses, self.x, comma, self.y, comma, making. And making is that green rotating circle that shows the user they're working. And because we don't need to add an alarm to destroy making, it's done in making itself, we don't have to add anything more. So that's the new building. Now we need to add some stuff to building underscore main. In the create event, working equals zero, we already have that. Global dot fuel equals two hundred, just what a resource that you start off with so you can get started. And score equals global dot fuel. So now we're displaying that resource on the top of the screen. We'll make it a better one later, a actual display, but not right now. And then in the step event, score equals global dot fuel, once again, and set the cap score caption info. Go to score and the bottom most one is score caption. Just drag it over and you'll get this and you want to show the score don't show the other ones and change the caption in my case to fuel to whatever you, the resource is. And lastly we have ship worker. Now uh, with this we need to add uh, collision with fuel and this is really important we can't do this in code uh, you need to find the variable test variable and if working equals zero um, and apply it to object building underscore fuel so if it's not working 
then we destroy itself. We uh, put in a couple blocks of code, which are these arrows, also under the control tab. And in the middle, we put that piece of code, which is instance underscore destroy, and then the parentheses and the semicolon. So we only destroy the object if. Um, ah, crap. If uh, we're not working. So I'm going to start save it and start up and show you how it's going. Um, so I've been getting a lot of positive feedback on this. Thanks for that. Uh, six should be up today or tomorrow. I don't know yet. Um, I'll just keep talking while this is going. Um, so we can see up here we have our fuel. We can drive over to the building. And we're working, we're working. And uh, we destroy that. And this goes in and that was created. And we can drive them both. We can drive them both towards it. But this one stops. Um, what else? So we can drive around like that. So now I can move them around and such. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, please comment, and make some suggestions.